Hello. Oh. Hello, hello. Hi. Can you see me? It is Mrs. Kite. They don't understand the joke. Okay. Ah! Okay, everyone. We should all be sitting down. We'll give it one more minute while people roll in. We'll have to see. We're missing a lot of dorm students. I know, I know. Oh, there they come. Come on in, guys. Let's have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Come in and have a seat. Come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. And have a seat. Good morning, everyone. Okay, everyone. Start putting away your phones, putting away everything. Shh. Mr. On, can you do the soft one? Because uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Schwartz is not in. Okay. Okay, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Phone should be away. Everyone should be looking up at me. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. It was definitely very rainy, kind of dreary. I know today is sort of a gray day, so thank you for waking up and being in school on time, and we're ready for another week, okay? So welcome, welcome. So for this morning assembly, I am going to, it's going to take, we're going to do a little, um, what is it, presentation, okay? But I need a volunteer. Now, before I ask for volunteers, you have to understand there's a certain level of skill that this will require, okay? So if you feel like you are a highly skilled individual that can, can do things that are that is very effective, please raise your hand, okay? I'm going to have Marco. He's right in front of me. Marco's going to stand up. So Marco, can you come up onto the stage that way? Oh, oh okay, okay. Okay, yay, give Marco a hand. Marco sees himself as a highly skilled individual, okay? Now, I, um, I understand that you guys want to see objectiveness. You don't, want, you, know, you don't want me playing with numbers up here. So can I have someone volunteer to come up and do the time for us? Come up here and be the timekeeper. Okay, Marco, Marco's gonna choose. Okay, who do you want your timekeeper to be? Sam. Sam. Sam, can you bring your phone, you know? So that, okay, so you see that I did not touch Sam's phone. So Sam, make sure your, your timer is up, okay? Can you come over here a little better? Okay, so Marco, no, okay, maybe a little, little back, okay. Okay, because Marco's gonna be in the middle. Okay, okay, so Marco's gonna be up here and he's gonna do something very skillful and very um, difficult, okay? And then Sam, you're gonna take the time. Okay, now while Marco is doing this, everyone please you know, cheer him on, encourage him, because it's difficult, it's not easy to come up here and do tasks and sign up for things that you really don't know what you're signing up for, Marco. That was a little, we'll talk about that later, okay? Um, but, okay, so just encourage Marco, okay? So Marco, the very hard task I'm gonna ask you to do up here, and Sam's gonna take the time, okay, is that as quick, yeah, as a stopwatch. You signed up for a job, you didn't know what you were doing? Um, yes, as a stopwatch. You're gonna go as quickly as possible, as fast as possible. You are going to get all the toothpaste out of this tube, okay, onto this plate. You think that's possible? You think you could do it quickly? Yeah. Oh, really? How quickly do you think you could do it? Give me a number. 11.3 seconds. 11.3 seconds, he says. Okay, then take that, okay? And so you can use this, okay? And Marco, Marco's going to do it, okay? Are you ready, Marco? You can take the top off. 
I could take that off the top. Was, that was <laughs> it's not, oh, my. Oh, okay. We shouldn't have timed you for that. Okay. So Marco is going to. Oh, now there's a. Sorry. I know. I, I See, I told I, you it was going to be hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> it's okay, guys. He'll get it done. Okay. Okay, ready? No, it's, it's, not, it's not working very well. Okay, let him do it. He's a grown up. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's got it. Okay, ready. Okay, Sam, ready. Now remember, 11.3. Everyone cheer him on. Ready? One, two, three, go! Every drop should come out. Every drop. Every drop. There should be more. Everything. Everything. Get it all out. All of it. You think that's out? It's basically out. Okay. Take the timer. How long? 19.4 seconds. Give him a round of applause. I got some on my finger. Okay, move down a little bit. No, no, you're still up here. So that's good, right? It's it's toothpaste, right? It's no, it, no one's questioning. It's toothpaste. Okay. So very nice. 19.04. You will not have to brush your teeth. Okay. But there is a second part of this. Okay. So he it took him 19.04 seconds to get all of that toothpaste out. 19 seconds, that's it, okay? So the next part of this is gonna be like a little more difficult, but not too difficult, like this wasn't difficult, right? Okay, so I want you to hold that. Okay, the next part, is that zeroed out, Sam? Okay, Sam's getting ready with the timer. When I, get, when I say go, Marco, okay, this is, this is slightly difficult, but it's not too difficult. You're gonna take every single piece of that toothpaste and you're gonna put it back in the tube. Okay, so on your mark, get set, go. Every single piece, ooh, you're making a mess of it. Oh, oh dear, oh, Marco, oh. Am I allowed to rip it? No, you're not allowed to rip it. I don't know, is this, um, how you doing, Marco? You got it? I think you're making a mess of it. He doesn't think it's possible. Oh, thank you. You're done. Okay, thank you for making that statement. Okay, now have a go seat. Goodbye, have a seat. Give him a hand. Oh, okay, and give Sam a hand, I guess. Okay. So it's interesting, right? Because it took, it took Marco 19 seconds to get all the tooth, toothpaste out, right? But he doesn't think it's possible, and it probably isn't possible, to get all the toothpaste back in the tube, okay? So it's an interesting visual, right? Because it's so quick sometimes to have things come out of our mouths, right? And it's so quick to say things. We, think, we don't think before we speak. Sometimes we say things out of comfort, out of anger, okay? Out of frustration, right? But putting the words back in is impossible. Okay, or you make a mess of it, right? Which is what Marco beautifully demonstrated. Marco didn't even know the point of this talk. Well done. And what's really funny is when Marco's brother Julian was a freshman, he did this very thing here as well. I forget what his time was, though, so you can ask him. Okay, so the point of this, this um, talk this morning was just to remind you all, okay, that sometimes when, you know, you we get comfortable with our words, right? It's very easy to say things. It's very easy to make statements or make comments. And it's very hard as it's coming out of your mouth, you might realize this is something I shouldn't say, or this is something that I can't take back. Okay, and mistakes will happen, you know, you will say things, right, and you will make comments that, you know, you don't understand the repercussions for, but it is important that you are aware of this, that no matter what, you can't put the to toothpaste back in the bottle, okay, it's always going to be out there. And so what I would hope that you learn or start to be aware of is that you're responsible for squeezing the tube, right? That that's on you, okay? So whatever you you say, okay, whatever you take out, okay, just be aware of that, that you'll never be able to put it back, okay? And, and your words have impact. Your words impact not only the person you're speaking to, but can impact other people, 
right? Can it, those words also take a life of their own? Like, I've already got toothpaste on me. I'm already, like, sticky. I'm going to have to go wash my hands, right? But it's, it's that way. Like, words impact things beyond just your conversation, okay? So please be aware of that and just be aware that when you speak, okay, you are responsible for the things that come out of your mouth. Okay, and that there's no putting it back. It doesn't go back in the tu the um, the tube ever. Okay, there's no going backwards. Okay, so I'll just some some thoughts for this morning to kind of help you along. Okay, just be more conscientious of your words and understand that you will make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Okay, we get mad, we get comfortable, we say things even jokingly. How many of people have heard, oh, that was a joke, come on. You know, that was funny, right? And it's an easy thing to say, right? It's an easy thing to justify what you say. But the hurt it causes is still, you know, your responsibility, what you do with that hurt. Okay, even if you don't mean to hurt, what you do with that hurt is your responsibility. If you say you should get over it, it was a joke, right? Is that you taking responsibility for hurting someone? No, right? You're saying that I was right, I should be able to say what I want to say. Well, okay, but you still have to deal with the consequences, right? So just think about that, okay, and just put, try to put that into context for you. Um, maybe you're just really good at thinking about what you're saying, and this is not a problem for you at all. And if that's the case, congratulations. Your life is going to be great, okay? But most people, this, this does impact now and again. Okay, so on that note, I just want to make a couple of announcements um, to start the week. We do have a dorm meeting, okay, in uh, uh, the English room at 310. Dorm meeting at 310. Please, dorm students, be on time. The faster we're all there, the faster you all get to leave, right? It's simple math, so please be on time. There is a massive fundraising yard sale on October 16th in Seaside Park for BIA. So we are going to be putting out a uh, community service sign-up sheet for that, where you can get hours, you can sign up for shifts, okay? Um, and we are still accepting items. So if you have parents that are looking to give away stuff, you know, you want to do some spring cleaning, you know, bring your items in. We're storing them. We're going to be doing this massive fundraiser. Um, for the school, the money goes towards scholarships that the school gives, okay? So please keep an eye on that. We do have, commu oh, question about that, Sam? Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. Well, this is we're going to be out in Seaside Park, so it's not just our community that will be accessing these items. So I think I get what you're saying, but I think um, for that sake, it should just be an inanimate objects, okay? Um, also, we have, yes? No, we're not selling good hugs out in Seaside Park. No. <laughs> um, also, we have community service uh, project this Friday. Dorm students, if you do not have all your uh, graduation required hours, I've already signed you up. There was limited spots, so local students, I only signed up a couple of people. We didn't have a chance to get a lot of people um, signed up because you do have a pretty full dorm this year. Um, also, I have some sad news. Sad news, but nice news. You know, we'll have to be sad for a moment and then be happy. Um, Mr. Corley at the front desk, he um, is moving on. Okay, he got another job. I hope that no one was like, where, where is Mr. Corley? He's there right now, but he got another job. So this is going to be his last week at the front uh, desk. So please be super nice to him. If he's giving you a lecture about being late, just thank him. You know, say thank you, Mr. C. Thank you for all your guidance and, and wisdom you've given me here while you were here. And then um, starting next week, Miss Gonzalez, who we introduced the last week, she will be our front desk manager. Okay, so you guys were, saw the transition. She'll be at the front desk. So again, um, just bask in the wisdom of Mr. C for one last week. That doesn't mean be late on purpose. Okay, don't just walk in late because you want to hear something from him. Um, be on time. But anyway, it'll be his final week. And then Miss Erica will be at the front desk um, starting Monday. 
Okay? Are there any other announcements that I missed? Okay, everyone. Have a wonderful week. We will see you around. Watch your words. See you.